If you're like me, there are so many things that pique your interest. Buying that course, jumping on this train, reading this book. So many things. There's a FOMO, fear of missing out and so many things that life has to offer. And it prevents you from actually doing something. And you always wonder, why don't I succeed like other people? Well, I have the answer. One word. Focus. When we have too many things asking for our attention, it's very hard to focus on any of them because we can't give our 100% all. But if we have that one thing, one clear goal, and we put all our focus and our energy into, the likelihood of succeeding in that goal is five times higher than just focusing on more than 10 things at the same time. Simply said, achieving your goals will be like a piece of cake. Not really. When this year started, I was literally on fire with the drive to create content. I was creating on Instagram, YouTube, I dabbled on TikTok too. I was literally intense. I was excited to create on almost all platforms, put my brand out there. But I wasn't. I was hardly sleeping four hours daily, waking up 5 a.m., sleeping 12 a.m. And I had to create content the day before. Like my, my systems were messed up. My routine was bad. I didn't journal. I didn't have clarity on what I was trying to aim for. I was just doing, doing, doing. And before I knew it, I was lost. I didn't know what I was aiming for or aiming at. And in everything I was doing, I had very little to show for it. Now here I am, seven months later, I'm building my brand, building an audience, creating a video like this. And I'm figuring things out as I move along in this journey but I'm more better than I was seven months ago. I've improved my mindfulness, my time management and so many other things. If there is something that helped me get out of this mental rut to an extent, I'll attribute it to these three lessons. Prioritize everything, your goals, your habits, your activities. Prioritize, learn to say no to activities that don't help you move forward. A good example can be and there's a course that is out there and I know that I don't need it right now but it's something that is like a shiny object syndrome for me and if I get it, it will fuel my dopamine I'm like, yes, I'm buying courses but I won't take any action at all I have to learn to say no to courses like that because in the long run, I won't need them there is always something new that will pique your interest to be honest, I see something new every single day that I'm like, oh, I should get this but like, man, I gotta say no I can't be saying yes to every single thing because if you say yes to something, you're saying no to something else. So you have to be very careful of what you're saying yes to and you say no to most of the other things. I hope you understand what I'm trying to say because it is very important to learn how to prioritize. If you can't understand how to prioritize, the remaining two lessons will not work. You have to prioritize on what's important for you so you can move forward. Now you have your goal figured out. How can you achieve them? You have to break it down into a step-by-step process for you to achieve them. And this is where your habits, your systems, your routines come into place. For example, you want to grow on Twitter, you want to hit 10,000 followers before the end of the year. Um, you have to post everything, you have to tweet every single day. Uh, maybe up on space, collaborate with people, write threads. So many things you can do to actually grow on Twitter. Like Jim Clare said, you don't rise to the level of your goals. You fall to the standard of your system. You have to have good systems and habits in place if you want to achieve your goal. Recently, I've been aiming to get fit. I'm more mindful in my daily life. And instead of building habits, I go for a walk every single day. And sometimes I even run. I journal. I watch what I eat. Not often. But all these things play a huge role into helping me achieve my goal. And I make sure I do them every single day. Because if I don't, it won't add up. You know, consistency is just that 1% every single day and you'll be surprised how far it will take you. So, yes, those daily 1% go a long way. And I'm sure if you have your goal set, setting clear systems and habits for you to achieve those goals, it's going to be very, very easy. Have positive some friends. This is more like an accountability group or just supporters, a community of people who support you in doing the right thing, in a way. And I'm going to be honest. I recently hit 1,000 followers on Twitter and I'm sure I wouldn't have reached there or I would have given up if I didn't make friends along the journey. If I didn't make, meet people that are pushing me like, oh, Salam, you're doing amazing. I love this spread. Nice tweet. I agree with you. Because if it's lonely, it's very, very likely you give up easily. I remember early this year in January, I met some guys on WhatsApp 
and we were, we formed an accountability group for reading. In the first two months when we were reading together, we finished four books, 100 million offers in socialism and two others I can't remember. And it was amazing. I've never finished a book before in my life. And the first two months, we finished four books. Think about that. It was crazy. Just imagine how far you can go when you go with others. You learn from their mistakes. Then you teach them something too. And you're all growing together. Especially as an online business owner, it's going to be very, very important. If you have an accountability group, people who are pushing you, who are teaching you, sharing their lessons, and all growing together to achieve a common goal. So it's very important to build an accountability group. Quick reminder. All these tips won't work if you don't prioritize. If you don't prioritize your goals, your activities, your habits, and you don't learn to say no to some things that don't move you forward. So prioritizing is the first step, and you will be surprised how easy it is to move forward in other aspects from prioritizing to certain systems and habits to being an accountability group. Because once you have the first step figured out, the remaining just flows like a river. So prioritize. And move forward with your life talking about moving forward with our life i haven't posted on youtube for the last five or six months here i am i'm back i'm building up the creative habit again um it's not easy but yes we're getting it i'm trying to make sure i can stay consistent every week posting till the end of this year and beyond so yeah if you're interested in more videos like this and other things that come up along the way please don't forget to like and subscribe i'll really appreciate it thank you so much for watching i appreciate you